Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy Eric Bellinger, and right now you're tuning into thisisrnb.com. All right, keep it locked. What's up, everybody? It's Nikesia here from This Is R&B, reporting live from Essence Fest 2016 in New Orleans. We are here with our good friend, Eric Bellinger. How are you? I'm good. You know, happy to be here enjoying the show. Just, you know, taking it all in. Awesome, awesome. So this is your first year here at Essence Fest. How has it been being here, being in New Orleans, taking in the culture? Mm -hmm. Man, it's been incredible, you know, to come from L.A., you know, where I'm at, it's, it's a lot different, you know, to say the least. Um, everybody out there is in Hollywood. They're a superstar. Everybody's an artist. Everybody's a, you know, a singer, rapper, whatever it may be, an actor. And out here, you can tell that people are just here to see a great show. You right. know, they're not afraid to clap. They're not afraid to scream and shout and just, you know, Know, you know show that they love the music you know that they're fans of the music so you know to, to see that and feel it in the atmosphere everywhere I go is incredible absolutely so speaking of your roots out in LA you were recently mayor for a day correct yeah in um, Los Angeles man we did a it was a carnival a Hollywood carnival parade it took over the whole street of Hollywood Boulevard which is like you know the main street in Hollywood and for three miles you know, I was right in the front, yeah. you know, in the car and cut the ribbon and, you know, they, they, they treated me good. You know, it was dope because, you know, in L.A., to have the support of my own city, it's, you know, you can't beat it. It has to be a really good feeling just to know that they back you and they've backed you for so long. Yeah, they have been. It's been it's been nothing but love. They just asked me to do another one, you know, coming up soon. So I'm like, all right, I can get used to this, you know. Now, <laughs> you know, so it's cool. It's been nothing but love. Well, you better get used to it because it's time for you to get all that shine Man, that you've saying, been needing. I'm saying, I've been working, you know, everything that I get, everything that's presented to me, I'm always just grateful. You know, of course I want so many different things, but, you know, I'm just happy that people are still calling my name like yo we need you to do this show we need you to do this event we need you to come out here to essence you know because to be able to stay consistent is the tough part you know it's easy to put out a song or put out a single or put out an album or a mixtape but for me to keep getting calls for shows to keep getting booked at clubs is really a blessing so speaking of all of the stuff that you have going on, you recently posted some stuff with Pharrell, correct? So I don't know if you can tell us anything about what you guys have been working on, yeah, but can you? No, we was um, working on uh, Wale's project. Wale actually um, called me in like, yo, I'm in there with Pharrell. Um, come through and me and Wale been working together a lot lately. So with this one, it was like, yo. Let's go kill it. So our chemistry has been, you know, just building to the point now where it's really, really crazy. You know, as soon as we get in the studio, 30 minutes later, we got a smash on our hands. So had to go in there, you know, and represent. So shout out to Wale. And what about Scott Storch? How was your experience working with him? Man, Scott is a genius, you know. Um, Watching him, you know, when he gets on the keys, he just, whatever he plays is golden. You know, whatever he, he hears a synth, if you get him, you know, a sound, he, he, you see him search through the sounds, boom, he finds his sound, and whatever his fingers play wow. is magic every time. That's incredible. So now I want to really kind of dig into your self-titled project that's coming out. Can you really just tell us anything from it? Give us an exclusive, tell us a yeah. track or something. Uh, I mean, I've, I've been working on it for like this entire time, you know, as I've been putting out projects like The Rebirth and, um, you know, eventually and Choose Up Season, Cuffing Season, all these, I've been, you know, working at the Eric Bellinger project the whole time. Like, okay, as I, cause you never know, you know, when you record a song. So if I put, if I do one and I'm like, okay, this is me, mm -hmm. let me put that aside. So through the process, some of the songs might be two years old, some of the songs might be three years old, but for them to still be as good as they are and stand the test of time, I know that they're classic records that'll never die out. If I'm still able to bump them, because I get tired of them, because I have so many songs, you know what I mean? But it's it's like if it's an old song and I can still play it over and over, I'm like, all right, cool. You get to go on the Eric, Eric Bellinger self-titled debut album, you know? I don't even know if that one is necessarily next yet, just because I want it to be so perfect. I want it to be my confessions. I want it to be my miseducation of Lauryn Hill. So I've really been taking my time. I might throw out some other stuff in the meantime, but that's what I'm really focusing on to be my, you know, defining no moment in my career. It sounds like you're searching for the Maxwell effect because if you think about it, you know, uh, with the, the new album that he just dropped, yeah. that first single, Lake by the Ocean, was actually five years old. Yeah. So it sounds like when you talk about timeless music, yeah. you're definitely referring yeah, exactly. to that effect. Exactly. 
when I saw Maxwell yesterday too. He killed it. So yes, he did. Yeah, he yeah. definitely did. Mm-hmm. So I've always had a question, and this is something that I've asked my editor over and over and over again. Why is your name still Eric Exinger on all of your stuff? I need to uh-huh. know. Nah, well that that's actually just something that my uh, graphic designer at the time he was just like, what can we do with your name? Like it's it's so long, you know what I mean, with the logo. And he threw that line in there and then put the X. I was like, that looked cool. You know, so it wasn't nothing in particular, like, but it was just like, you know, something to spark, to, you know, spice up my name when it lo- it's just so long, you know. So it was just something that he did to, to spice it up a little bit. Well, now that I know, I feel so much better. <laughs> right. Because I was, it's not that you, that's why you didn't figure that out now, because it wasn't that. Because at first I thought it was, you know, you had the Christmas album that you put out and it was right on time. So I was like, okay, maybe oh, he's okay. doing the Christmas he's like, thing. Mm, he still got it. That's good. You know, that's like Kanye. <laughs> Kanye, when he do something, even if it's a mistake, people be like, but did you see the way he did right. it? It was, it was so innovative. So if I got that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got to keep trying to figure out what the X is on there. <laughs> well, thank you for the clarification. <laughs> no, it wasn't. So I wanted to ask you one thing. Um, I know that, you know, the political nominations are coming up, and that is a very big thing for a lot of celebrities right now. They're putting in their bid for their candidate and everything. But I kind of wanted to change the question up for you. If you had the opportunity to pick the next president from the R&B world and their Mm -hmm. running mate, who would you pick and why? Man, that's like... Who could I vote for that I feel like will represent more than me? So I'm I'm happy to be the president. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Well, I can look at the guys, man? you know what I'm saying? I could be like, all right, so I'm going to be the prayers. Uh, I have to give it to R&B Drake. R&B Drake, you okay. know, because, you know, he got the R&B and he got the rap. His R&B songs is on point, all of, you know, so we can we can rock with Drake, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm cool with that. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So, you know, it's been an amazing year for you, and I know you've collaborated and written for so many artists. It's way too many to count, and every time I see something, it's like I exactly know that this is an Eric Bellinger Dang. song. Who are you looking forward to working with the most for the rest of this year and into next year? Oh man, I'm supposed to be um, linking up with Kalani soon, so I'm excited to work with her. I, I love what she's done, you know, to the game. She just kind of came in and fearlessly was herself, you know, and I really just admire that about her because, you know, nowadays, you know, back in the day, people used to always put up a front and, you know, hopefully they like this person, but she's just really herself. And I think that nowadays people want to really just buy into who you are as a person. And she's opened up and she's let us in, and I'm like excited to help share her story with the world absolutely so it's very important right now for black women to be on top of everything what do you think your definition of black girl magic technically is man i i think that black girl magic is doing the impossible um making miracles happen um making a way out of no way given the circumstances you know just you know arising above all and you know just I think I think black women they work so hard and they have so much working against them from jump you know so to to see you know the success of our sisters is incredible and I think you know that's just what happens when you know just determination you know when you see it on their face and you know it's it's a blessing to to be able to you know have me a little black magical <laughs> sister myself you know what i'm saying yes, so yeah it's dope you know I, I i get to see firsthand you know the drive and what it takes to actually stand out and to actually shine you know? mm-hmm. how do you think being a father um how do you think you learn to balance that and having a career and being a, a new husband man i think i think that my son and his smile does it all like I can't, you know, when I talk about him, I'm always pulling up my cell phone. <laughs> Somebody say anything. If you say something that rhymes with Eli, I'm like, what? What'd you say? Oh, yeah, they're going to photo right there. That's the newest one updated on the screen. You you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And it's just like a blessing to see him and see myself through another human being. And and I see me because he's always smiling. He's always laughing. He's all in like, that's me. I'm always smiling. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's just dope because, you know, for one, I'm the most determined person. I'm the hardest worker anybody will ever meet. I work on my own music. I work on other people's music. And I come back to my music. And all the while, it's like I got my family at home. And I think it's easier because they're such a support. They're such a backbone. They're such a, they're behind me. Anything that I do, they encourage me to go out there and work hard. And that makes me want to get back home even sooner. So, you know, if they were trying to, you know, pull me in. If Lamar was somebody that was like, why are you always gone? And that might be like, 
you know, a conflict with my mind, mental state. But since she's always just encouraged me to go get it, go out, go out. The time is now. Strike while the iron is hot. It makes me be like, but wait, I want to come home. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I always want to be at home with them, turning up and having fun and watching, you know, Tech the Trailer and all them little yeah. shows. But, you know, they encourage me to go get it. And that's what I'm grinding for. Awesome. So last question. It's also going to be kind of one to make you think. If you could make your perfect collaboration, you got four people plus you. Who would it include and why? Oh, man, I think I would have to go with Kendrick Lamar, just another Compton native. Um, Jay-Z, just to get the official stamp from the big homie. Um, who else? Another one. This is a tough one. So me, Jay. Kendrick. We already got we already got Drake for the yeah, I was gonna say we already got Drake for the uh for the uh you know the running mate. <laughs> so it'll be out of it will be out of Beyonce or Rihanna. Um it might be it might be interesting to throw B on there just cause we got them and they going to stamp, you know what I mean? J and B together is, you know what I'm saying? It's damaged. So we're going to rock with J and B and me and Kendrick. Okay. B already stamped Kendrick. So now, Hope, whenever you're ready for me, B, I'm right, right here. You feel me? Throw your times in the sky. It's lit. And you need one more. That's four, right? Oh. Plus you. So you got five total. Oh, five. Oh, then we're going to go with Rihanna. We're going right. to go with Rihanna. So J, Rock B, Nation. Rihanna. Yeah, it's all right, Nation. I'm not even tripping. Awesome. It's all good. Thank you so no much. Thank now, before we end, I did want to give you a little gift from okay. ourselves and our friends over at ECBC. Nice. It's one of their backpacks. Nice. It's the Hercules backpack, and it is TSA okay. friendly. So Very you can nice. take it through the airport and not have to take your laptop and stuff all, and all of that really? out. Yeah, so we wanted to just gift you with that for Beautiful. gifting us with great R and B music. Ah, I <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much, you. Eric. Thank you.